Things were not so rosy for him and he was very frustrated because so it was time to pay this kid's school fees here. And mm. he was saying there was no there was no money, but they go club every night. And mm. allegedly you were sleeping at some chick's place on Instagram. I don't want to start name calling because I am not I wasn't there and I'm not sure. Well, yeah. So I don't want to put anybody in trouble, but there was a certain girl's place on Instagram that he was crashing. Mm. So we family now, that's my brother and sister in Abuja. I was like, oh yeah, come to Abuja now. We'll sort it out. Even if it's change the children's school, we'll sort it out. But she got on telling me that Omo, this guy has cheated her for like 30 something years. School, she no go. Nothing she go. She's living this marriage with zero cobble. That the guy should settle her at least something for her to leave. Because she literally said, and I quote, I made him what he is today. I begged people not to lock him up. I stood there for him whether even his mother was not there for him. This same guy we are talking about here, yeah, his brother does not talk to him. He has no connection with his own family member. Because I was on a call, we were on a call with his brother yesterday, earlier, when we were looking for him, and his brother was like, Omo, I know no way in day. I have not spoken to him in years, and I can help people to find him. This is supposed to be a good person. So, fast forward to the events of the whole tragic incident. He came. Uh -huh. My sister was already getting ready to move out now. She was moving out. Then, the struggle started with the papers for the house that they live in. Seems like that's the only property they had left. Uh -huh. So, she, she wanted to play a fast one and quickly open the safe with, um, with a welder and get the papers and move to secure. She has five children. She obviously has to feed them some way. Him, I don't know who gave him the information or how he got the information. Him getting the information now drove from wherever he was and he drove straight inside to the estates. This is somebody that, like, a week before, I have a video, he kicked them out. He kicked, I have a video, he kicked his wife out, he kicked the five children out. He said, he said, and I quote, um, your mother is training you people to be like her. And you people cannot be my kids. That's what he said. And he has, we have another video of him, of his kid, his only son telling him to stop hitting my mother and he beats the boy mercilessly. This huh. was if this was like days before this main event happened. So he drove home now. When he drove home, he saw that she has opened the safe now with the welder and she locked the door. Yeah, going down, uh -huh. He was trying to get his papers back now. And he was being violent and he was banging the door and she locked the door. Somehow, somehow, he grabbed her and he dragged the paper away from her. Uh. And she had no papers now. And now she wasn't going to live without anything. So she now said, Doc, since this is the only house we have left, uh. let's cook my bonnet down so the two of us live with nothing. Oh, so that's what led to the fracas. So Good. guys, if you're just joining us live, Bimbo's... Then she was lighting up the whole house. Then, according to them, kerosene. She threatened, she poured kerosene on her body. I was like, to may everything go to my end. Now, saying this, this was somebody that was madly in love with her husband. And this is not the first time her husband was threatening to kill himself. If she does not come back. I have a video of that one too. So I think she she probably expected that him go say no, do am or do am. Then when she did it, she now stopped for a while and she walked around the house. Him, he was not saying anything. He was like, if you want die, die. 
That's what he said. Then I think she light up the curtain. According to the girl that was there, the girl said he, as she light up the curtain and was born in, they were now dragging. She tried. Sorry, I lost you there. She now lit up the curtain. Yeah, and the curtain was burning. He showed it in his video too. And him, she now jacked him like, Omo, you go give me this paper today. Then him pushing her off his body got her into the curtain. Now, Daddy Freeze, now, um, you're a very, you're a very smart person. A very smart person because I've been on your life so much and I've seen how you analyze things. So, I want you to follow me and analyze the situation. Yeah, this is where it becomes very tricky. Yeah, she suffered from hundred degrees burn. That takes like about a couple minutes to get hundred degrees burn. Yeah. So when she was on fire, her husband was right in front of her doing nothing. Hmm. She now ran back out by herself. Oh. This is how strong my sister is. And she said for to any hospital. They are, they are eyewitness to this story. Then on going to the hospital, they went to like 10 hospitals. They were rejected. This guy now told them that they should drive the car back to the estate. Now, then he, 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 what I heard from him now was the Instagram post he posted. Now, um, Oinda Bola, um, there were there are so many. I want to ask you as many questions as possible because people are going to watch the live. There were so many um, allegations that he was into rituals and she helped him with the rituals. You, are you it's aware? Possible. Of she would she would help him with anything. It's possible. It's very, I agree. It's very possible. She would do anything for him. She has a tattoo of him, his name on her neck. His name, not a children's name. His name on her neck. Why she was that obsessed for, from when she was 19 years to when she, she ended up in 32 years, I do not know that phrase. I was the one that even said maybe they took a blood. I do not know. Huh. 